Hello, Shreveport Bossier. Let's make a difference today. Are you thinking of moving to Shreveport? In today's video, we're going to look at the pros and cons of River Brook subdivision in East Shreveport. So let's, let's go. go. Let's look at the map and see where uh, River Brook subdivision is located in East Shreveport. So along East Kings Highway here, and you have River Brook Drive, and this little area right in here is uh, River Brook subdivision. Uh, a, a nice cluster of homes, a nice number of homes that you have right there, but it's tucked away uh, just off the highway. And, uh, you know, it's it's away from, if I uh, zoom out a little bit, uh, that here's Uri Drive, which is your main area in East Shreveport, all of this being East Shreveport. And this right here is just tucked away right over in here. Uh, and you're you're kind of away from the hustle and bustle of Uri Drive. So it, it makes it nice. And you've got several uh, things that we've looked at in this area. You've got Les Maisons. You've got uh, the Haven, which is a large uh, subdivision off of here. And uh, uh, so, you know, you've got several subdivisions nearby. So you have people around you. You're not like out in the country all by yourself, for sure. Uh, but the nice thing about it is as, as, as you come along uh, here, you keep coming down East Kings Highway, then you can cut across on East Flournoy Lucas. And that's where, uh, you know, we saw the 12 Oaks and, and the inner loop and all. You can make your way around Shreveport fairly easily because you're lo being located over in this area here off of East Kings Highway. You have access to the loop, you're 49, and then all of the uh, South Shreveport homes, the LRB Road area, and all that, that's all growing up. And so you're going to have restaurants and, and, and different types of services available to you to uh close to where you're located. So it's a great location uh, for sure. Now let's look at uh, the schools uh, for uh, Riverbrook uh, subdivision and university is going to be the elementary school. Uh, now remember Caddo Parish has a a uh, magnet program uh, that they use uh, also in their school systems where the uh, student can, uh, you know, test uh, to see, uh, you know, if they would qualify to go. But then they also have neighborhood schools uh, uh, if you chose not to because of the driving distance. So you can go on the uh, Cattle Parish Schools uh, website and be able to see a list of all those schools. Uh, there, is, I mean, it, it, especially in the elementary, there's like, you know, several uh, <laughs> that, that is at your dispense. I mean, you, you know, it's like, what, five, six, I don't know. So uh, it just depends on the drive and uh, the reputation, I guess, of the school and what you hear others say. Um, the drive four minutes to university is close. I mean, you just cut across here and you're right there. So it's a great location for your uh elementary school. Now, the uh, middle school is going to be Uri Drive Middle School, uh, and it's an eight-minute drive, which is is not bad at all. And, you know, you can go East Kings Highway here and then just cut across and come up, or you could cut across over here at Stratmore and then hit Uri Drive all the way on in straight to uh, Uri Drive Middle School. So for all their activities and and all those kinds of things. Uh, it's only 3.7 miles, but, you know, traffic and all, it's going to take you about eight minutes uh, to get there. Uh, so uh, not bad at all uh, drive there. 
or distance, I should say. And then Captain Shreve High School is going to be your high school, and it's seven minutes away, 3.4 miles. And, and taking that East Kings Highway uh, map and, and then cut across 70th Street, and then you're just right there at the school, uh, right there behind uh, Havity's Furniture and uh, Hobby Lobby. So it's, um, yeah, real close. And once again, a great uh, location. Now, if you are here for Barksdale uh, Air Force Base, then, you know, it, you might think, well, living in Shreveport, I'm going to be a far uh, distance away from the, the base. But you're not. You're 12 minutes away uh, here from uh, the subdivision of Riverbrook. You come on East Kings Highway and cut across, and then you're going to uh, cross over uh, the Red River and then hit, come on up. You could go across and hit Barksdale and go ahead and go straight upwards to Barksdale. Or if you're on the Shreveport side, you can take uh, the Arthur Teague uh not Arthur, Arthur, this is Arthur Teague over here. Uh, take uh, the loop area there that they have for uh, in Shreveport Barksdale Highway in Westgate Lane right here goes straight into uh, Barksdale. So uh, real close. I mean, 12 minutes, you know, once again, you're separate. What separates Shreveport and Bossier City is the Red River. All right, here that just curves around here. So, um, you know, you are close. And and let me say, as I always try to reiterate how uh, appreciative we are of our service men and women uh, and, and in the presence of the base. I think the base came in like 1930s uh, to Bossier City. So it's been when Bossier was just a cow town, you know, just a small, small, small place. And I remember in the 50s being born in that time uh, that, uh, yeah, you know, they uh, were uh, in the 60s. They, it, it, we still were a small town, uh, but man, just, I've seen the growth over the years. And, you know, and, and a lot of it's in part to the fact that a lot of uh, servicemen would come in on their last uh, four years or whatever, you know, and be at the base and they would stay. They would stay in Bossier and, and stay in the Shreveport Bossier area and uh, just you know, fell in love with our area. I mean, didn't necessarily have family here. They just stayed. And, and I think that helped our community to grow and to, to think bigger because all of a sudden there were people around that had been out of town, you know, they'd been somewhere else, you know, and that's a good thing. And so, uh, you know, I'm a very appreciative of, uh, not only for our freedom uh, that that you've sacrificed and your family has sacrificed for, but also uh, the fact that you've helped our community be a much better community. Uh, and and uh, I'm appreciative as a native of this area uh, for for your contribution to that. All right. Now, uh, let's look at the air. If you need to go to the airport, Shreveport Regional is only going to take you 18 minutes. And I say only, but 18 minutes in compared because most airports are on the outskirts of town. And so to uh, get from Riverbrook over to you've got just 31, 32 and you're cutting across, hit 20 and come back and you've you've. Uh, Got it. So it doesn't uh, take long uh, to get there. And uh, and it would be a short enough drive that, you know, family could drop you off and pick you up from the airport if you wanted to not have to pay for that. So there's a lot of options made available to you. Now, let's look at uh, downtown uh, area of Shreveport. If you're going from uh, working downtown and you're going from Riverbrook, it's a 15 minute drive. And, uh, you know, it's just you could really take the the back road, not necessarily have to go on Uri Drive straight into town, uh, downtown. But uh, you could take that route. Uh, it's just a, a minute or two longer. Now, if you took the 49 route to go downtown, you know, you know, it's like a minute longer, you know, about a mile or two more. And that would be what I made because you won't have as you, you won't have many lights. I mean, you're you're making your way all the way up to downtown 
from there. So once again, very, very close. Uh, there are a lot of uh, things to do uh, around in the area. Uh, when you get to looking at what's uh, available, you know, uh, the uh, art gallery over off of Piermont and, uh, and near Fern is a great, uh, uh, beautiful flowers. And, and then there's a museum art gallery type place to go inside to look uh, at paintings and all. And uh, it's just just a really, really nice. Louisiana uh, State University at Shreveport is just right down from where River uh, Brook is. So, you know, that makes it nice. Uh, if you have classes or want to uh, take classes, you would be really close. We have Walmarts. We have a cons. We have whole market food. Hey, look at that. We got a Sam's Club. Uh, you know, we've got Twisted Root Burger. Be uh, man, you you talking about a burger? That's now that's a burger. And Outback Steakhouse is is awesome. And uh, then you you know, as you as we zoom in more, naturally we have the lows and the Best Buys and uh, car dealerships and the party cities and and also we've we've got a little bit of all really close to you at River uh, Brook neighborhood but also along a line avenue is over here is uh let me mark it here for you line avenue is a great area that's got uh several different things uh there and and fern is a great little uh back shoot place that goes between between line avenue and uh yuri drive two main uh, roads along with 49 and Mansfield Road. These are your main roads that go through Shreveport. And, you know, and with Riverbrook being over in this area on down a little bit from the college, you're at uh, really close to, I mean, here's a movie theater and uh, you've got hospital, you got with nationally Chick-fil-A and then over here, Jason's Deli is awesome. Another broken egg is great. Uh, and Superior Grill is an excellent place. Well, I mean, you know, we know how to eat over here in Shreveport Bozier now. Uh, we've got some uh, good places and uh, uh, small business owners for sure. Uh, and that is really the, uh, the push for our economy is our small business owners. And we, and we should, uh, always try to, uh, keep small businesses open by, by, uh, frequently going and purchasing items from them, not just from the big box places and all. All right. So that is Riverbrook. And I think it will be a great place for you to put on your list. A must see to see if it fits your budget and also uh, fits your lifestyle. Whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All of the information is in the description below. So we can help you make a smooth move to Shreveport, Bossier City. to your home.